I've identified six main categories of users for laptops. As you move from left to right, the price and configuration of the laptop increases. As we walk through these levels, if you think your activities involve at least 30% of the needs from the next level in the next two to three years, you should jump to the next level of laptops. For example, if you're using it for general browsing and learning today, which is level one, and you expect to use the laptop for work in the next two to three years for coding or programming, you should consider getting a level three laptop instead. Now let's try to understand what we need to look for in each of these levels when we are selecting our laptop. Without trying to make you a PhD in laptops, I'll try to provide a general guideline on what to look for, what type of processor to select, how much minimum RAM and storage to consider, HDD versus SDD, do we need a dedicated graphics processing unit or not, what type of display is ideal and what to look for in a battery. Using these guidelines, you can shortlist the laptops that are right for you or you can consider my recommendations in the last section of this video. So with that, let's get started. The first level is everyday essentials. Here our main use is web browsing, basic office work using Tally, Zoho or Microsoft Office, online trading, video calls and so on. We should be looking for reliability, adequate memory so that the system does not slow down and adequate storage for a responsive performance and storing our essential files. No heavy duty files. So for this level, the minimum configuration that you will need is a basic Intel or AMD CPU, minimum 8 GB RAM, 256 GB SSD storage and the pricing here lands between 30 to 50,000. Next level is for students or business professionals. Here our key needs would be portability to carry the laptop around so lower weight and longer battery life as well. At this level, we may also have multiple applications or tab open simultaneously for multitasking. So we need to ensure that the laptop has a reasonably powerful processor. It has adequate memory so that it does not slow the system down and it has a responsive performance. It also requires a higher configuration SSD storage to store our files. So for this level, the minimum configuration is slightly higher than level one. So go for the next variant of Intel or AMD, five or seven, a higher 16 GB RAM, a minimum of 512 GB storage for a responsive performance and a smaller display size with a lower laptop weight for portability. Laptops at this level land around 40 to 70,000 based on the selected configurations. The next level is for coding or programming use. Our key needs here would be the ability to run multiple development environments simultaneously and for faster compile times. If you run on remote development environments, you can go down to the second level. At this level, the number of ports in the laptop would also become key to connect external monitors and other peripherals. So for this level, we would go one up again on the processor to Intel or AMD 7 or 9, 16 to 32 GB RAM based on our budget and at least 512 to 1 terabyte SSD storage for faster responsive operation. In development, if you are into AI ML development or game development, you need to move to the next level laptops that are meant for gaming and AI ML. Next level is for creatives, a video editor, Photoshop expert, a content creator and so on. Here our main need would be color accuracy, large file handling and rendering capabilities. So for this level, we need to look for a higher CPU configuration, larger RAM, larger storage and a dedicated GPU like the NVIDIA RTX 4060 and above for large file handling. Having a display with good color accuracy that is 100% sRGB or DCI-P3 is critical. We also need to look for thermal management as the laptop can get heated during long renders. The next level is for gamers or those into game development. Our main need here would be for the laptop to handle the latest game smoothly and to handle the heat generated during long gaming sessions. So again, for this level, we would look for higher refresh rates, 144 Hertz refresh rate and above in the display for competitive gaming, a dedicated GPU with RTX 4050 plus and a high RAM and storage. We would also look for good thermal management to prevent throttling during long gaming sessions. And the highest level is for on-device AI ML development and research. In this case, we need a power horse, a workstation that supports parallel processing power, large data sets in memory and GPU acceleration for training the models. Remember, if you're only learning, you can still go for one of the lower levels. So here we will need a dedicated GPU with a high VRAM, large storage for accessing large data sets, CUDA compatible GPUs for machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. These workstations will have the highest configuration of all the levels that we have spoken of and therefore they are the most expensive. So in summary, as we move up a level from left to right, 
the laptop configuration becomes much more advanced and also much more expensive. So it is important to identify the level we are at and also make sure that we plan for our usage in the next two to three years as well. Now, before we get to my recommendations, let's understand how pricing changes in laptops so that at any point, if you want to optimize the price, you will need to compromise on one or more of these metrics. In my opinion, CPU and RAM should never be compromised for. The rest could be compromised based on the level that we are at. So in the processors, generally AMD processors are lower cost than Intel processors. Within the AMD processors, the Ryzen 3 is cheaper than the Ryzen 5 is cheaper than the Ryzen 7. And within that, the generation 5000 is cheaper than generation 7000. Amongst Intel processors, Intel Core processors are lower cost than the Intel Ultra processor. The Intel Core i3 is cheaper than the i5, is lower than the i7 and is lower than the i9. The Intel Ultra 5 processor is cheaper than the Ultra 7, which is lower than the Ultra 9. Generation 13 will be cheaper than the latest Generation 14. Compromising CPU performance for cost will impact the overall working of the system. In general, all brands have models which come with different CPU variants that you can adjust based on your budget. Talking about the RAM and storage. Lower RAM is cheaper. So 8 GB is lower than 16, is lower than 32, is lower than 64 and so on. Compromising on RAM affects the amount we can multitask and can make the system sluggish. Consider getting a laptop with an expandable RAM. Talking about storage, lower storage capacity is cheaper. So 512 GB is cheaper than 1 terabyte is cheaper than 2 terabyte. This is one area that we can potentially compromise on as we can use an external SSD storage when required. HDD storage is lower than SDD storage. These days, SDD storage is required for faster access time. In GPUs, an integrated GPU is lower cost than a dedicated GPU. Compromising on the GPU affects the gaming performance and for creative use cases. It is a must for level 4 and above. In the display, a full HD display is cheaper than the 2K displays, cheaper than 4K OLED displays. For creative use cases, focus on the best display, 100% sRGB or DCI-P3 performance. All other use cases can compromise on the display to lower the cost. So with that, let's get to my recommendation. I have focused on laptops under a lakh this time. So I will cover the first two levels in my recommendation, which is for regular everyday use and for students and business professionals. Please drop me a comment if you fit into levels 3 and above, which I will cover in a separate video. The recommendations are in the description anyway. Let's start with the level 1, which is for regular everyday essential use. For this, we can get a good capability laptop under 40,000. Anything higher than 50,000, we can consider better specs at the next level. Here, we will look at basic CPUs, the Intel Core i3 or i5, or the AMD Ryzen 3 or 5 or the Intel Ultra 5. The processor performance of U is sufficient. A basic RAM capacity of 8 GB can be considered if you want to keep the cost low. But I recommend going with a 16 GB or at least considering a laptop with an expandable RAM. With this base specifications, my research shows up over 20 laptops meeting this requirement. My top recommendation is the new Acer Aspire. This comes with a 16 GB RAM and a 1 TB SSD storage. It has specs that can also be used for the next level of laptop. With an AMD Ryzen 5 7000 series processor with 6 cores, this is great for multitasking and productivity. The 16 GB RAM, which is expandable to 32 GB and 1 TB SSD, is generous enough for smooth operations. The display is 15.6 inches with full HD resolution. And the battery capacity is 55 Watt hour, one of the highest in this segment, giving a good long run time. Great value at this budget. At a slightly lower pricing is the HP 15 laptop with 8 GB RAM expandable to 16 GB and a 512 GB SSD. This is an Intel Core i3 13th gen processor with entry level pricing. The full HD display with anti-glare improves usability. Some things to consider. This is ideal for everyday tasks but not for heavy multitasking. If that's your jam, move to the next level of laptops for students and business professionals or above that I've identified. The RAM here is also DDR4 which is again sufficient for casual use Nothing more than that. This laptop is also available at the 14 inch size at a slightly higher price point. Ideal for portability. On a budget under 30,000, my recommendation is the budget friendly everyday use laptop, the Dell Inspiron 3535. This comes with an 8 GB RAM and 512 GB SSD. Remember 8 GB RAM is quite low in 2025, but this laptop has an expandable memory, so you can expand in the future. This uses the AMD Ryzen 3 7000 series quad core processor. The latest in this series. 
Battery life is about 4 to 6 hours and it comes with Microsoft Office and Windows 11 Home Edition to help you get started with ease. This Dell Inspiron also comes with a higher Ryzen 5 processor at about 10,000 more and also has an Intel Core i3 processor for about 5,000 more. But for everyday essential use, this model that I have recommended is good enough. If an Apple laptop is what you are looking for, an Apple MacBook Air 13 inches with the M4 chipset is ideal for you. It is slim, lightweight, silent as it is fanless and has a very good battery life for web, office and casual needs. You don't need a MacBook Pro for this level of usage. So next is the student or business professional level. At this level, we'll get laptops in the 40,000 to the 70,000 rupees range. We want to prioritize portability in addition to battery life with improvements in processor to suit our multitasking needs. So we will look for an Intel Core i5 or i7 or an AMD Ryzen 5 or 7 or an Intel Ultra 7. While the processor performance of U or P is sufficient, there are not many in the P specialization. So I will be considering the H specialization as well, which is more heavy duty use compared to the P specialization. I highly recommend going with a 16 GB or above RAM or at least considering a laptop with expandable RAM. With these base requirements, my research shows that there are over 20 plus laptops meeting this need. So my first recommendation is the HP Omnibook 5, which comes with the Intel Core i5 13th generation processor with 10 cores, which is ideal for my multitasking and light creative work. The memory and storage are also adequate for future-proofing the laptop for more work. It has an integrated Iris XE graphics card for light creative work as well. With a 16-inch display, it is a bit large to carry around, but the 2K IPS display gives sharp details and vibrant colors for content viewing as well. Windows 11 and Microsoft 365 Basic as well as Office 2024 are included in this laptop. It used to be called Pavilion previously, now it is rebranded for premium branding. The next in this level is the Dell 15 laptop that comes with a similar processor, the Intel Core i5 13 gen processor with 10 cores, which again is ideal for multitasking and light creative work. The memory and storage are fairly generous for smooth multitasking with fast boot times and app launches. But the memory is DDR4 RAM, not the latest DDR5. It is adequate for the performance needs of students and business professionals. Display is 250 nits, adequate for indoor use, but may be hard to see in bright light. Overall, it's a great value for a Dell laptop. Next is the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 3. This has an Intel Core i7 13 gen processor with 10 cores. It is also high performance series processor, useful for seamless multitasking and heavy application. It has adequate RAM and SSD for faster operations. With Windows 11 and Office 2024 included, this is ideal for professionals and students who are requiring a balance of power in the laptop and portability. To some extent, it can be used by creatives and content creators as it does have the latest high performance processor, but it does lack a dedicated GPU, which I do recommend for creators for intensive heavy duty work. Next is the ASUS VivoBook S16 laptop. This comes at the higher end of the budget for this level of laptops. It has an Intel Core i7 13 generation with a high performance Edge series processor, including 10 cores. So it is future ready for more creative or coding jobs as well. It has a large battery capacity at 77 watt hour, but given its Edge series processor, the runtime will be lower than what we would see in a U or a P series processor. It has a display with a 144Hz refresh rate for casual gaming use. Overall, it's a powerful performance laptop, excellent for users looking to future-proof their purchase. The Acer Aspire that I recommended in the previous level can also be considered for this level. It has a Ryzen 5 7000 series processor, 16 GB RAM and a 1 TB storage. This is ideal for students and professionals as well on a budget under 40,000. For an even advanced processor at about only 5,000 more, the Acer Aspire Lite is available with similar capabilities but with a Ryzen 7 7000 series processor with 16 GB RAM and 1 TB storage. The battery capacity of the Acer Aspire Lite, however, is lower than the Acer Aspire. If you have the budget, then an Apple MacBook Air 13 inch or 15 inch with the M4 chipset is ideal for you. It is slim, lightweight, silent as it is fanless. The Liquid Retina display is ideal for light creative work as well. Where it shines is its battery life, up to 13 hours for the 13 inch and the 16 hours for the 14 inch. Thanks to the M4 efficiency cores and optimized Mac OS. In real world usage, it can be slightly lower. Since this video has gotten too long, I will pause the recommendation for the different levels here. Comment if you would like to see a follow-up video if you fall under any of the other four levels of users that I have identified for laptops.
The recommendations for those segments are in the description anyways. If you found this video useful, share the video and subscribe to become part of the 1.8 lakh plus community that trusts us with their decision making. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.